a las cavernas de Sonora a conocer, a ver qué, qué tal están, para subir un video al, al YouTube.
off the bridge. We're going to turn off the lights behind us and you'll have a chance to look into Devil's Pit. Even with the hallway lights, you can't see the other side. So imagine trying to cross that ledge with that little mm -hmm. bit of light. Mm -hmm. I would say imagine going across there with those nice Zippo lighters. <laughs> You're not seeing hardly anything. Mm -hmm. Keep on the hallway lights. <laughs> Someday they may even form a column. What's really cool about this particular guy is we see that drop of water hanging from him. Because he's right along the trail, they've measured him. He doesn't drip but every three hours. So it takes a whole three hours for that drop of water to build up and then finally drip. So we all know how small a drop of water is. You can't even see the calcite in it with the naked eye. So imagine how many hundreds of years it takes mm -hmm. with that small amount of calcite for him to build up because he's giving some of his calcite to the guy below. So he takes a couple hundred years to grow that big. But as we get deeper in the cave, we're going to see formations that are as big as rooms. So think about the thousands of years it takes for something like that to form. <clears throat> All right, again, we're now in semi-active. So the floor, so we got cave bacon here. Cave bacon is this cave drapery that has been stained. Water has picked up mineral over deposits along its route and has stained it to look like bacon. It is beautiful down there.
spiky below. Again, before the cave was sealed off to the surface, a process in the cave called condensation corrosion caused it to be smooth, but the water continued to build up on the bottom and form. These are called war clubs. Mm-hmm. Definitely mm-hmm. things we look like medieval war clubs. Mm-hmm. What I think is really cool about these war clubs, though, is like this guy we're looking at right here, he weighs about 300 pounds. So he's pretty heavy. I mean, they are, they're solid they rock faces. It's just crystal, it's, it's just calcite. Oh, really? It's just solid calcite wow. there. Yep. All right. So what they've done is they've dedicated this spot for everybody to be, everybody is welcome to make their wishes here because unfortunately that blue green is caused by the copper underwater Mm -hmm. and it does kill the formations. Mm -hmm. So instead of ruining multiple pools of water in the, in the cave, they dedicated one spot so everybody can view it. So that, you know, this spot is the spot. They drain it every couple of years and they donate as much as they possibly can to charity. The thing is that copper underwater eventually loses its face Mm -hmm. and pennies then no longer are pennies, they're just copper discs. The bank won't take them. The only place you can take a penny like this is to the Federal Reserve. So they have a bunch of worthless bits. (laughs) As you guys turn this corner to the stairs, almost so we're now in the ground of ice. You'll notice the whole ceiling comes all the way down. We've got beautiful ice like structures, nice and shiny and wet. They're so cool. And what I like about the ice is these seem to be here. Ha, <laughs>
But I always like to say, I spent 45 years of my life in Ohio. This is the closest I ever want to be to snow again. <laughs> Amen. Ever. Just that one. Yep. And as you come up here on your right, you're going to see a very large formation of flowstone. We call it Butterscotch Falls property. Water and calcite. The difference is it comes down in thin sheets and deposits along the way. She is dormant, like I said, but she's left behind something really cute. We like to see our little herd of elephants. So she may actually someday become active again, too, because her buddies on the outside are growing. All right, well, we're going to start heading uphill. It is deep, and it is a little slippery. There are really two dimensions. And take your time. Watch your head, and then we're going to head into a puddle. It might be a little low for some of you. the refraction of the light and why is because she is an optical illusion to us in how deep she is. So her light refracts, refracts blue because out here in the center is the scoop onion. Right about there, she only looks about three feet deep. Mm -hmm. She's actually over five feet deep there. Oh, wow. Right? And under her arches, where it looks so nice and dark and menacing, yeah. she goes down to 12 feet. Oh, wow. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, we actually have pictures of our crazy Jack and Caver standing in there. Because back in the 50s, they weren't into preservation and conservation. So we have pictures of him standing shoulder deep in it, and he was six feet tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it is a very comfortable 72 degrees for some, for some of us that are hot and sweaty. Have you ever like had anybody jump in? No. <laughs> no. And it would feel good, and it would also be good for water if we were thirsty, but we don't get kidney stones because of all that calcite. Yeah.
lactite with that water to calcite. The difference is this water is dripping more rapidly, so it's forming a hollow circle. So they are hollow. So if we broke one off, first we'd all go to jail. Second of all, we'd be able to drink through it. But back to the calcite in it, we'd all get kidney stones. So, but they are fully hollow. They can eventually clog up and become stalactite. You've seen them in other caves and might not have ever noticed them because we don't have bats and birds. Ours are really long. The bats and birds fly in the ceilings in caves with them and break them off because they're very fragile. All right, we're going down this way, not that way. <laughs> That's especially if we're only. Okay. They only, allow, your, they only allow a maximum of four people back in that room. That'll cost you your house and, and everything. Well, not quite. Well, that's 55 feet. We're going to walk down the hallway here in a minute. You won't even know that we went down another five feet when we finally reach the lowest that we go in the cave. But this is a good place where we can do total darkness. As a group, we I like to make sure everybody's okay with that. We have a young man here, and I don't know how he feels about the darkness. Fine. <laughs> right. Good, bro. So we want to be seated, seated or standing in a place that we will not move because obviously we have benches and formations so we don't want anybody to fall over because it is completely black. You will not be able to see anything. Oh my gosh. All right, so All right. because we're in Texas, never fear Davy Crockett with his kids can have his trusty rifle was standing by the whole time to touch the house. Part of the cave. Nope, we're going to go another five feet when we go down the hallway. So it's just not safe. I think this is one of the most beautifully decorated rooms myself in the cave. These large rocks on our sides have been down here so long that formations have grown where they were in the ceiling. Like our cave onion ring. So the cave invented onion rings long before we did on the surface. Mm -hmm. But what's really cool about that onion ring is think about it's hanging in midair and it formed that way, a complete circle. Mm -hmm. That is one of those halectites that I mentioned in the beginning that make all kinds of crazy formations. Here is my opinion, the trickiest part is going through this hallway. Open. So they knew that there was more cave because there is ore, uh, lines of ore running through it. And as they blasted through the tunnel, they made it all the way down to the end. And that last blast, they were greeted with a big surprise of 5,000 gallons of water. Wow. <laughs> so that 5,000 gallons of water greeted them. Um, Luckily, no one was hurt because of the way the cave is laid out. I'm sure some of them went for a quick swim. We found this beautiful surprise room. And the reason that they know the water was resting here is because of these pom-pom-like structures only grow underwater. And these are rather large. We're going to go to the next room and actually see baby dog tooth spar is what they're called. So we're gonna see small ones. So this water sat here for thousands of years, building up like this. And you can even see the water line where the formations change from one kind to another. See, now that's an easy one because you know you're in the dark, so you know yeah. there's a light switch there. I'm telling you, that one there you know, was a surprise for yeah. I always pause for a minute because half the tunnel back by the surprise room was dark, so I wait here at the switch to see if everybody's coming. I just got dripped on twice in a row. <laughs> Hundred and fifty-five feet. Here we are. So we're 155 feet deep in the cave. 
like I said, it does go down to about 180 feet deep. <clears throat> so here are our baby dog tooth spar in the pool. So you can see how tiny they actually are when they're starting to form. These are probably still a couple hundred years old even. Anybody ever seen Indiana Jones? Snakes. Exactly. So when you get up this way, turn around and look in our ceiling. Hmm. We have Is there a snake in here? Oh. No. <laughs> we have Indy's snake pit up in our ceiling. So it's made out of those halite types. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh no, there's no. If there was a snake in here, there would be somebody down here with a gun shooting it. Right now. <laughs> we don't like snakes. Running. We don't like snakes here in the KDB. <laughs> it darkens the entire lower level. Okay. There's a yeah. The front one, the one. Yep, that turns on the stuff out. Yep. Like I said, they're usually the one in front is to your front, the one in back is to your back. And always watch your head. Yeah. Okay. So we got everybody up the stairs. Almost. There's a few more down there. Okay. All right. Taking pictures of snakes. I don't know why. Thank God. It's, right. Thank God it's not the live ones. Yeah. We did have a baby rattler outside of our exit the other morning. Ooh. Yeah, he made a very quick dis demise. Yeah, a Corinthian room because of the columns here, similar to the columns of Rome. So when we talked about that guy with that three hour drip rate, I always like to try and imagine how long this guy here takes to form because he is formations inside as well as all the way on the outside. So he's probably taken tens of thousands of years to get that size. And it's also he, a job of the hut. When he came over mm -hmm. here, it was already like this? Yes. Wow. Well, I mean, not the walkways, obviously. Well, of course. Yes, so, yes. You know. yeah. Oh, yeah. Be careful as you're coming around through the columns, because on our left there's a drop and there are no railings. Now up there you have four switches. Yes. I like to take it slow when you have a full group though to make sure everybody's up on the Corinthian room before you just take off the sun and go that way. Yeah. So on the way to Actually, you're going to turn three of those back when they come back. Got That one you never have to touch. Any of my Star Wars fans, Cave has its very own Death Star here. 
But my favorite person down here is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty yummy. I had bacon for dinner last night, though, so I'm good for now from bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to go uphill, and then we're going to go a little downhill. Not very steep, but there are no handrails, and it is the slipperiest part in the cave. So everybody, as you're walking up, make sure your foot is firmly planted before you pick up your next one. On the back... directly below you, but you do see out to the left. She goes down about 75 feet. That crazy guy who sold you guys tickets, he's our light bulb guy. He goes all the way down there to do those light bulbs. He's awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's your first switch out here. All right. So we just made a great big move, so we're going to head back out the way we came. Thank you. 
formation of black over here. Uh-huh. What was that black from? You know that I don't know what they say it's from. I know they call it Dracula's cape. Okay. But I'm not sure whether it's from like an iron deposit. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to have our young man here be our line leader. You're going to follow this railing, and then you're going to come to another railing. And you guys are going to wait here. We're going to be right behind you because the bridge gets extremely dark behind us. Okay. In our cave, make the most of her leg tiles. She's right up here. So she has a full left wing. And you can see she only has a partial right wing. Mm -hmm. So back in 2006, a young man on a tour very much like ours asked to stay behind to take photographs, and he jumped over the railing and broke off her wing. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I started at the beginning telling you calcite is worthless. Because he saw crystals, he probably mm -hmm. thought he was worth money. He took it to a pawn shop. Don't look to look people up anymore. We look them up on social media, right? Mm -hmm. Look at somebody's Facebook page. He posted pictures of what he had done on mm -hmm. where they made it a felony, mandatory two years jail time. Mm -hmm. Not even a fine the first time. It is straight to jail you go if you do something to a kid in Texas. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. She's not long for this world if she hangs out there too long. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're going to meet the line leader again. Did it switch? And we will turn the back on. We're going to head down that way. There are three archways. Almost everybody's going to have to duck at all three. <laughs> and then you're going to hit a pair of stairs and go down those. And we will. I'm only going to do it this is December 27th. And tomorrow is my last day. Oh, were you headed back to Ohio? Or? No. My husband and I are work campers. Oh, so we travel in our RV and we go to work other places. Mm -hmm. Our next assignment is at KOA at the West Entrance of Yellowstone. Oh, that's cool. Right? We'll be there for five months. So is it like a so, so, the same You do that? Oh, wow. no. Every day is late day. Every day is late day. Every day is late day. That's crazy. So we have been with them? Yeah. No. Oh. No, we can't. We came out completely in our own. Yep. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was just a scorpion eating the kids? Yeah, probably. I know, I love him. Is that so? Scorpion? Do you guys together? 